Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to a new episode. And, um, still doing two gates, still doing strong. As you'll see, we're going to do the character overview of who we played after this. But, um, one thing I'd like to add before introducing the players is that, Camillo, you are a douchebag. Am I? What? Yes. What are you talking uh, about? Introduce our opponents. Oh. Uh, what? No. Why? Uh, fine. Um, we have Blazing Hot, my, uh, one of my favorite Buffalo Wing types at Buffalo Wild Wings. So, you know, great name. He's a blue Zerg, bottom left. And then we have Prank K, a uh, red Terran, bottom right. Who's a diamond player? I meant platinum. Platinum, yeah. And this guy is gold, I think. And, yeah. We're not. Yeah, we're high bronze. So, <laughs> uh, I don't even know why we're going up against these guys. I guess we're doing really well. But yeah, like, this two-gate strategy, I know I've probably said this like eight times before. Is lethal. Just, it's it's lethal. Lethally effective, I could say. It's lethally um, potent. Yeah. Pretty much, I think the big advantage to it is that your economy never stops. Excuse me, that was a burp. Oh, another burp. Um, yeah, you're always producing probes. And, uh, Should I got be. a supply block there and pretend like it's not even happening. And, um, I think we're about to push in. So I uh, will slow it down. I would like to take note that how the Zerg player was going to steal your extractor until he realized, well, shit, they're not going gas. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> I honestly didn't care. Um, so he yeah. At this point, you're gonna see how um, how deadly it is to scout a two gate and then still do a fast expand. Just yeah. watch how this ends. Come on, man! Can't be doing that. Just watch how fast this ends. I mean, good I job moving your drones. Yep, smart. But now your spawning pool is mine. I think he was really relying on four this, marauders. Yeah. Not gonna do much. But no. we do end up getting pushed away, but yeah, like the reckoning. Yeah, the damage we do to this guy is ridiculous, and it really cripples him. And as you can see, we're keeping up our probes. This Terran is doing a good job of uh, producing his uh, SVs. But yeah, this guy, we t we took out his spawning pool and we took out his Roach Warren. And I think we actually just leave this expansion all by itself because this guy's re this guy knows how to kite, so we kind of just have to uh, go. It's not that hard to kite when you have a ranged unit versus a melee unit. That's slowed it's down. Even, yeah, it's even less difficult when they have concussion cells. Yeah, if you're Terran and you see a two gate coming, if you can get it out in time, get concussive shells. If you're Terran and you're ever playing a Protoss, get concussive cells. I don't know. What if they got like stalkers or something? I'm usually concussive really, shells. Dude, I'm usually really stalker heavy. Concussive shells. You know what? Okay, yeah, you've played Terran, and I pretty much never play Terran, so I will shut yep. my mouth. When when people are going stalker heavy, you don't want to rush to concussive shells, but you do want them. I think it would be more important to get um the stim pack out first, or not even. I would go for the uh the shield first get that extra 10 life on your marines but if they are going for that early push that's why you need to scout and that's why you'd want to get concussive so shells i just can't pronounce that today concussive shells so yeah while we were pushing out doing our doing some damage we both um put down what we need to put down to uh be where we would relatively normally be in a game like this Obviously, we're not exactly where we would be because we had to put a bunch of stuff into zealots, but we're pretty damn close. Um, actually, not really. This warp gate is way off. If you're yeah, for you. If Check out mine. If you're four gating, you'll have it up by seven minutes. Is it done? Yeah, oh. mine's done. Yeah. Nice. Plus, I already got immortals coming up. I was keeping up with my stuff as we were attacking. You tend to let that slip, so you get minerals to store. See, like I only have a hundred minerals right now. What do you? How much do you have? Hundred. Oh, not two hundred. Yeah. Not bad. I think, I think, I think you I, came it's out because I put down all these pylons. But yep, that's that's why. 
But yeah, this, what ends up happening is this Zerg player knows he has to catch up on economy because otherwise, <laughs> you know, he might as well not even try. And he, when we go in for another push, he has literally like three roaches or something. Like, it was pitiful. And, um, this guy is just really late to react when his partner gets attacked. So, yeah. I think, yeah, we also expanded. I expand a bit later, but it happens. Um, anything to add? Um, yeah, not exactly yet, but when you start layering up proxies, you do a fairly well job of that, and I th need to definitely practice my proxying, because I'm a little lazy bastard and don't want to move my probe all the way up the field. It's not hard, bro. I know, but... What you gotta <laughs> do? Just bam... Damn, I can't click on these because it's so fast. Just bam, then B, then E, like that. Yep. Yep. So, so yeah, if you just look at this, you can kind of tell that, uh, I guess we didn't equalize it very much. No, see, what you do is you send up a lot of zealots, and I tend to only put up about five or six zealots. Yeah. Anything more than that is overkill. Usually, it was all these marauders. Oh, yeah. We come for this push, and this guy just right away GG's. Um, he, he knows. He knows because I was going up immortals, and if you put up one immortal, I think I think one immortal could take out three to four roaches. I think four. I'm pretty sure. With, like, absolutely no kiting, if you just uh, shift attack into him or whatever, I'm pretty sure one immortal could take down four roaches. Maybe, maybe only three. I have but. no idea how many it'll take out, but I know they're very good against roaches, so... Mm -hmm. Immortals, when playing against Terran, are probably the most universal unit, too, just because they take care of siege tanks, they and they take care of um, marauders, so... Do they? Oh, yeah, they oh, do. Yes. Marauders are armored. Yep. Marauders and siege tanks don't really stand a chance. Especially if you want to snipe them off it, like in the beginning of a fight, they'll go down pretty quickly. So, um, this guy had tons of minerals and gas. Nothing much he could really do about it for what he built. I expect more out of a platinum player. Yeah. But I mean, maybe I'm, this is a different race than what he normally goes. I yeah. think, and when the part checks it, I think it is his most played race is Terran. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, you can see from this drone count and how little units he has that when Not we, rode up. Yeah, then when when we attacked, we f we forced him to play catch up. Um, obviously, he played too much catch up, and um, yeah, he didn't have what he needed to defend, and um, just his partner can't defend two Protoss. Um, so yeah, I think we actually say bye in the next segment, which we filmed before is weird but yeah we filmed this out of order uh, I'm just gonna end it at random so yeah guys uh, this guy was let's see he was platinum in 2v2 and gold in 1v1 with so, a ton of wins look at his stats yeah so I mean he's not a bad player and this guy was let's he was gold and everything. With look at his stats too. Yeah. All right, but let and let's then, put it this way now. Look at our accounts. Yeah, and then you look at us. We're number two in bronze. Yeah. Click click into your profile. Uh, are you talking about this. Yep, that's you. Now click into me. Just go to match history and then just click my name. I just want to show our stuff compared to their stuff. Just click on a map that we played in and then click me. Ah, clever. Yes. So yeah, yep. you're 34, I was 46. So, I don't think it was because they were bad. Um, this is just really effective. Yep. Yeah. So. Alright, so uh, see you guys next time then. See ya.